So what's going on guys, it's your boy Nistro here and today I want to talk to you guys about the Rescue Ace archetype and their new card out of Cyberstorm Access to reinforce the Rescue Ace archetype just as a little background. It's an archetype of, I guess you could say firefighters whose whole focus is they're trying to contain and control the opponent's monster effects. It's specifically just monsters. If you look at all of their interruptions, they really only stop monsters from being able to play the game. And they have a lot of ways to do that in both interacting with when your opponent activates a monster effect with, the, with some of your names in the deck and then there's your actual trap cards deck can both negate and destroy monsters your opponent controls and basically the whole gimmick of the, of the deck is that you want to make your rescue aids turbulence because turbulence can set up to four back row from deck every turn the back row is kind of mid and because it's searchable you only play one of but before there was really only four rescue Ace spell and trap cards that you could set there was alert rescue contain and extinguish and each had their own purpose alert searches a rescue ace if you control hydrant but if you don't control hydrant it only adds one from grave to hand so kind of in rescue special summons one from grave or if you control hydrant you could summon a monster from your opponent graveyard instead which again kind of in. contain targets and effect monster your opponent controls its effects are negated and then if you control hydrant it also becomes like warning point at the same time so like it can't attack its effects are negated and it can't be used for fusion synchro link exceed this stat in the third and then extinguish pops an effect monster your opponent controls. If you control Hydrant, they also can't activate the effects of that monster. So if you pop, let's say a Mirror Jade, they cannot activate the Mirror Jade second effect. And that also means that if they were to revive the Mirror Jade with whatever, still would not be able to activate any of Mirror Jade's effect. Now we've gotten Reinforce. So what Reinforce does is that it basically turns your turbulence into a towers. It gains 1500 attack and defense and is unaffected by your opponent's monster effects. And once per turn, it would not be able to destroy a battle. Oh no, just once. The next time it will be able to destroy a battle, it's not. You can also banish it from your grave and reset some of your rescue ace spells and trap cards. And it's like, wait, Nistro, if you want to continue setting your rescue ace spells and traps from deck, why do you only play one of each? Well, that's a good question. And the answer to that is that you have your field spell, your headquarters. And so headquarters allows you to recycle your rescue ace cards back into your deck hopefully you can keep resolving your turbulence now if you're looking at this list we're heavy on the rescue ace monsters they really only work with themselves so turbulence as you know sets the four from deck fire engine when a rescue ace is normal summoned you can summon him and when a monster is special to your opponent's field you get to summon a rescue ace from hand deck or grave meaning that if you don't already have hydrant but you have fire engine and you had a way into turbulence then that means that fire engine can start to get you your hydrant so that hydrant can get the better effects of your rescue ace spells and traps same thing with fire attacker right if a rescue ace is summoned to your field you can summon it from hand except he allows you to draw cards when your opponent starts adding cards from deck to hand so intruder allows you to, to search your traps on summon which isn't really that relevant because in the perfect world you always have turbulence so intruder is kind of eh but if your opponent activates a monster effect on the field you can tribute him kind of like a hand trap and then summon a rescue ace monster from a graveyard air hoister searches the spell from deck which is actually pretty relevant and will be even more relevant with the new support once we get into that you're able to tribute him when your opponent activates a monster effect from hand to summon a different rescue ace from hand which is kind of meh so you always want to summon air hoister impulse the on field effect is kind of eh. it's a ignition negate effect which can only be used during your turn so the hand effect is a lot better because when your opponent activates a monster effect on the field you can tribute this card and then special summon the machine rescue ace from deck right so like uh this can bring out like a fire engine or a fire attacker from deck if you're going second and your opponent activates something you can tribute just bring out turbulence from deck if you really wanted to so it's actually a really kind of cool card you don't max out on it because it's like its utility is kind of limited but um when it does resolve it could be pretty significant and what you see here is you see eight ways into fire into rescue waste hydrant and the reason why you want your rescue ace hydrant more than anything not just for the the full effects of your contain and your of your spells and traps but also because once per turn he can add a rescue ace monster from deck to hand and that's going to enable a lot of combos with the rescue ace archetype as it is now once we get into the duelist nexus support it gets a lot better but as rescue ace is right now hydrant is sort of a significant piece even though there's no one card combo yet hydrant is still very important towards get it you know making your strategy work so we play triple hydrant double gizmek naganaki because you contributed summon hydrant from deck one parry rhyme map i didn't want to max out on this because it's a hard once per turn and you have to pay half your life points so i was just like fuck it and rota for your um 
Rescue Ace Airlifter. Small World actually goes really well in this deck because not only do all your Rescue Ace monsters have different levels, but because half of them are machine and half of them are warriors, there's a lot of routes where it's like, if you start with like a fire machine, you could end on a fire machine. So if you wanted to get rid of a fire engine and search a hydrant, or if you drew both turbulences and wanted to go into hydrant, then you could do that. If you wanted to start with Gizmek Naginaki and go into an airlifter, you could do that too. I mean, the world is kind of your oyster when it comes to Small World with this deck. And I know Small World, a lot of people, it's sort of more of a rogue deck card right now because most of the, the decks, like they don't need the extra consistency. But I think because Small World synergizes so well with some of the cards in this deck that I think it's worth playing. Another thing about Turbulence is that it can banish two Rescue Ace cards from your graveyard. And that includes your spells and traps because they're all treated as a Rescue Ace to summon itself from hand, meaning that it's sort of like a little BLS kind of thing. Like you can summon it normally or you can summon it with its effect and because of that there's going to be a lot of situations where you always just want to have turbulence so we're playing two so that sometimes we hard draw it sometimes we have to search into it and we really don't mind either one we don't mind drawing turbulence now once the duelist nexus support comes out we can cut turbulence down to one because there's way more ways to search this card as the deck is right now i do think you need to play at least two because you want to see this card and if you have to hard draw it then you know so be it we play foolish burial because of the one that revives right if we get foolish burial plus an airlifter we can revive our turbulence with a rescue and then we have a lot of space for non-engine in this current build there's 10 non-engine slots right so ash and perm and you see lord of the heavenly prison and that's because we're setting four spells and traps from our grave we don't want to be vulnerable to fetter duster or back re removal so we keep lord of the heavenly prison so that we can a summon out you know keep our back row protected and b so that we can set another rescue spell and trap from deck Heavenly Prison, pretty great card um, to have. And we're gonna get into, okay. So this is, I think like the current best opening that you can have with the Rescue Ace deck. Now, honestly, there is not much that this deck does. It's more of a control deck than anything. So you're not gonna see too many crazy combos with the current build of Rescue Ace. So we start off with Hydrant and Headquarters. And the reason why is because Hydrant lets you search any Rescue Ace from deck and Headquarters gives you an extra normal summon. So two plus two equals four, right? So we add one with the Hydrant. We're gonna get the second normal. We have the airlifter, airlifter adds alert, and that's because alert can search any rescue ace monster from deck if you control hydrant. And so we activate alert, we go turbulence. You see a really small extra deck package in this deck, and as I said, there's no real crazy combos with like extra deck or anything. It's like, it's your most typical generic board breaker, um, IP nightmare unicorn kind of stuff. So you never really have to, like the, there really is no like tech in this deck yet. And then we banish two and then we get to summon out the turbulence. And so we've banished the alert and the air hoister. And there's a good reason for that. We want to keep hydrant engraved because we're going to set the rescue, right? So that we can revive hydrant so that all of our rescue Ace spells and traps actually have their most significant effects. I was really trying to find a way to, if I could get like another rescue Ace card in grave before my turn ended, because if I got one more rescue Ace card, either in grave or banished, I could have activated headquarters effect to shuffle all them back and draw one and, you know, not have to go neg off the IP Mascarena into Nightmare Unicorn. That's pretty much like the way the deck works right now. You rescue, back for Hydrant, you reinforce, you turn your turbulence into a towers. You don't have to do this like immediately, but like if you like, let's say that you keep the alert in graveyard rather than the hydrant, you could reset the alert the same turn that you activate reinforce and then you could banish it, reset the alert, activate alert, add a, a rescue ace from deck to hand. You can add the hand trap one that summons from deck. You could, um, and then once your opponent activates something, you could tribute that from hand, summon out like a fire engine from deck and then have like a little combo with that going. So yeah, again, Reinforce can set the same spell that you just used. And because it was set with a Rescue Ace effect, you can use it that turn, all right? So we, we're, I'm pretty much showing off all the interruptions that you can have. It's basically a three interruption board. So one off IP, one off Extinguish, and one off Contain. Um, and as I said before, 
Contain made their monster into basically was like activating warning point. They couldn't use it for anything and its effect is negated, can't attack, can't even crash into it to like empty their, their field or anything. And then extinguish says pop the monster, no more effects like that. that any monster with the same name cannot activate its effects for the rest of the turn. Um, and then IP into unicorn. And this is all, all only using, so two cards for three interruptions. Doesn't sound too bad. Um, if you draw a little non-engine with this, you have follow-up with the field spell because um, next turn, we're going to use headquarters, right? One thing I do want to point out here is because it, the field spell does shuffle back from banish. So it's like, if you do draw that second turbulence, you can banish before you resolve field spell so that, um, you get the extra body on field, shuffle all them back, draw, and then you can reset your um, spells and traps. Now we ended up drawing into the uh, alert, which I did not want to do, but you know, um, that's just life sometimes. Um, normally we, we would have been able to reset this from deck and we would have drawn another piece. So imagine that there was like, we had three cards in the end left over we dropped one for Unicorn and then we drew one for turn and one off of headquarters. So we would have four cards in hand, four back row, plus the search off of alert. We would be pretty good right now. That's how Rescue Ace works right now. And just to show you guys the combo I was talking about earlier, where you go airlifter plus Foolish Burial, just so that you can get the instant um, turbulence and the set, the set four. Um, not the strongest combo again, but like because it's into access into turbulence, you'd want to do that as soon as possible. So before we go into the second half of the video, I need to introduce you guys to the Duelist Nexus support of Rescue Ace, and these are. Possibly where before Rescue Ace was kind of like, okay, we're going to sit back. We're going to control the game. Uh, maybe a little bit, maybe some trap cards, maybe some, you know, spell and trap into um, maybe some, you know, trap card interruptions. Now we get a monster effect uh, interruption, which is very easy to summon. And it also um, is a floater as well. So we get a monster interruption of floater that's easy to summon. And as you can tell, searchable. Um, and then we get an e telly. We get an e telly called emergency. <laughs> this summons a rescue ace from deck, and then you get to tribute a rescue ace from your hand or field, right? Now the tributing is mandatory, right? So think of it like, okay, discard a rescue ace monster, special one one from deck. That's the best way that, that, that I can describe this effect. And then you can also banish it from your grave to reset one of your trap cards, but that's only during your main phase, meaning that you'd have to control both Hydrant and Turbulence to make this work. Now, we've cut down to one Turbulence. We were playing two Preventer. We do, in theory, want to see this card, but one, it's searchable. Two, we have Emergency. And three, we just don't want to break off of too many high level rescue aces. We've cut fire engine down to one, like the cards in deck are more searchable now. We, we keep the same ratios of the small guys, I think. Maybe we can cut intruder down to one, but like be, now that emergency needs us to have a name in hand to resolve, I think having more names only helps, it doesn't hurt. Air Hoister is now the best starter because you get to search emergency. Impulse is still just as good as before. And then Hydrant, you don't need as many ways into Hydrant anymore because now Hydrant isn't the best starter. So we can take out the Perry Rye map. We can take out the Gizmek Naganaki. We can keep the one for one, right? Because it's an extender, so might as well keep it. But you know, now Rhoda is the best starter. Small world, same idea. If you open up one of your other fire warriors, you can go into Air Hoister or if you want to go into preventer you can if you open like one of your fire machines like shit if you want to turn intruder into into airlifter you can if you want to turn oh no it's called monitor in tcg i i keep reading the fucking ocg name so if you want to turn monitor into an airlifter you can if you want to turn impulse into an airlifter you can it just helps with consistency and we still only play one of each rescue ace quick play spell and trap because they're recyclable they're kind of bricks if you don't open rescue aces or well they're not kind of bricks they are bricks and they really don't do much by themselves. They're really only there for you to set them with turbulence. So you don't want to draw too many copies of them. Headquarters now because we don't need as many copies of field spell because now that we have 
both emergency and reinforced that can reset our spells and traps. We don't need um, we don't need to recycle them as often, right? Now, like we have these these alternative ways to get our interruptions going, and now we have more space for non-engine. Where be before it was ten, now we have like twelve slots for non-engine, which is um, guaranteed to draw at least one in every hand. I know I think it's around forty to fifty percent chance to draw two if it's twelve and forty. So yeah, extra deck still nothing crazy going on there. Now I'm starting to consider Durandal. Now that um, Airlifter is the best starter, Durandal might be worth taking if you open Field Spell plus a name. We took out the Foolish Burial because now it's like, although it could work well with Preventer, um, now that we have one card starters, Burial isn't really like an extender the same way that it was before. Like you could just mill Turbulence Activate Rescue, like that is still a thing. Now that we have more routes into our cards, we kind of want more things that just help our, our, our engine work. And you can even take out these Lord of Heavenly Persons if you want. I will tell you right now, before we get into some of the combos, that this deck like folds to evenly matched. It folds to a lot of stuff like that. Maybe you might want to consider Artifact Lancia over Lord of the Heavenly Persons so that they aren't banishing your, sp um, your field for you. This deck could lose to a fucking Raigeki, <laughs> unironically, because you have like no protection against it. But I know it's a very monster heavy format. So um, especially when Stillless Nexus comes out and, Re and Revolution Synchron and, and Visus uh, random bullshit turbo starts taking over, like it's going to be very monster heavy format, I think. So I think a lot of these Rescue Ace cards will be very good meta calls to some of the cards in the format. But let's just showcase what the deck can do in Duelist Nexus. So now we have one card starter, our Airlifter. Airlifter get, get, gets us Emergency. Emergency can summon out Hydrant. Hydrant can bring, can get Turbulence. Now we have like, again, a, a way easier way into Turbulence plus Hydrant. And now that it's consistent too, that means that we will be able to actually resolve our Searcher this turn, right? So we set our four. And we get to activate alert because again hydrant says we can activate our set quick plays and traps to turn that we summon them and now we also get to summon out our preventer and now it is still three interruptions but that was only off of one card and if we had more rescue aces in like hand or uh or shit, like even in um if you if we opened up like rescue, we wouldn't have to banish the alert. We could banish the rescue and then um, we could banish reinforce from grave on our next turn to uh, bring back the alert and then get another search. But it's it's great because like if preventer leaves field or no, if it's sent to grave, if it's sent to Graveyard, we get to actually revive our Airlifter, meaning we get to search either another emergency or we get to add uh, search the rescue that we were missing, meaning that we will be able to rescue back the, the Rescue Waste Preventer and then um, potentially follow it up with more um, with more support or with more bodies and, and more plays. Right. So that, that's really the showcase I wanted to show you guys. It's like, now you have three interruptions instead of just two. You still have the reinforce that lets you get, uh, that makes you unaffected by monster effects. So, um, it's, it just works a lot better. And now that you have one card starters, it just makes the deck a lot more fun to play too. And now this is our final, um, our final combo. Now this is a one card, one and a half card combo. I only put um, in, in um, fucking monitor here because I want to showcase what an emergency can do. Uh, but basically, as long as you open emergency plus a, you know, rescue ace in hand, that isn't you know one of your best ones like hydrant. Um, airlifter or turbulence i mean in theory you can you can start to cut hydrant down too because if you just open emergency like you're good like you don't need anything else like you, you don't need to normal summon hydrant or anything um so yeah and we can, and because emergency is a quick play we can activate it um 
outside of main phase one. I mean, I don't really think that's too relevant because we don't have any effects that like add on summon, but you know, actually no, we do. We do have some effects to add on summon. We, we have like the airlifter. So if you're going to go, go into the airlifter and you want to play around troll or something, you definitely can. Uh, now we get Turbulence. Turbulence set the four. And this time we also set another emergency because next turn we get to summon more rescue aces from deck and um, we get to reset some of our trap cards. So this time we didn't set the reinforce, but we set extinguish and contain. And these are not hard ones per turn. So if you wanted to reset them, um, oh no, this only resets during our main phase. So, like, instead of relying on the field spell to re recycle our extinguish and contain during our next main phase, we can banish emergency and then reset either ex um, either of these trap cards to continue to have interruptions for our opponent based on what we think is the most relevant. I think, like, contain is so good, I think, like, this might be the one that people want to reset like our, our bodies are, are big enough to where it's like we can hit over most monsters in the format if you need the extinguish i guess it'll depend on what your opponent makes after getting both contained and and extinguished in the same turn and then i'm sure we could you know work with the with the follow-up and then turbulence will still be able to set reinforce from deck and another emergency. Now that we have a card that can actually be played a three of, a rescue ace card, now we always have something to set from deck, even if we don't have the field spell to recycle our trap cards. Meaning that we we really just don't need the field spell to be our resource loop. We can just play with the engine and make it work like that. So now we get alert, go into preventer, same thing, right? Preventer. And then now they have an emergency of their own, right? we can prevent her set that bad boy face down which if they had any follow-up for this right because uh, i know this is just a replay and this is just like whatever land but if they had a follow-up for this hydrant we'd still have like two more cards that just say no so now they summon out their own turbulence we ex extinguish that thing and then uh we can emergency our preventer now that we've activated its effect right like we no longer need it face up on field. We contribute it off of emergency and then revive back the monster that we um, summoned or that we got rid of first turn. If this was airlifter, this would be a lot better. But um, if they activate another monster effect, fire engine is just going to get airlifter from deck anyway. So we get to add our reinforce and then we could potentially add airlifter if they have any follow up and go into field spell or into another emergency or we can add rescue i don't think we went through rescue yet you see that we have so much resource now compared to before like these two new cards revitalizes the rescue aces strategy to a point where it's like this can probably be a meta contender at this point as a matter of fact i think it got like one top in in like ocg i think it went undefeated is what i heard but i, I know it got a top in ocg because it was it was on R road of the king I don't even know the name of the website, but you guys know which which site I'm talking about, the, the, the OCG site. That's basically the best way I can introduce the new support from both Duelist Nexus and, and Cyberstorm Axis. Reinforce is a great card by itself for Rescue Ace, but it, it, it doesn't solve all the deck's problems. But once Duelist Nexus comes out and we get Emergency and we get Preventer, the deck is just going to be a whole different beast. It's gonna be a whole different beast, one that I think you should look out for. I wish I could say, you know, pick up your hydrants now before they, you know, start to go up like crazy, but they've already started to go up. Like I've made this video too late and I'm, and I'm sorry, <laughs> but um, the deck is still at a point where it's like, other than Hydra, everything else isn't that expensive. And you really won't need Hydra at three. Like, like I, I think like this video is a good showcase why like you don't need Hydra at three when you can just emergency, as long as emergency exists, you don't need Hydra at three. So. You know, Hydrant going up to $16, kind of eh, you know, like I feel like Airlifter is the best card in the deck and this is a rare. This this isn't going to go up to like $15, $16, whatever the hell they're charging for Hydrant right now. But yes, if you want to play the deck right now, Cyberstorm Access build, yeah, then you're going to need three Hydrant. But even if you only have two, again, you have so many ways to go into Hydrant that like you really don't need to max out on it either. Like you can, again, like we have seven copies here, including two Small Worlds. And I'm sure small worlds are still affordable, Gizmex are affordable, these maps are affordable. 
So it's like, even if you can only get your hands on one hydrant, that, that should still be fine in, in theory. That was all for now. Let me know what you guys think about Rescue Ace and their Duelist Nexus or Cyberstorm Axis support. And I will catch you guys in the next video. We have more super heavy samurai builds coming your way because I, you know, I've seen how much you guys like the first two videos. So I'm, I'm gonna find some alternate builds for Super Heavy Samurai, and then we're going to get into the Teller Knight and the, what the hell else did I promise from you guys from the poll? Whatever I promised from the poll, right? Like after Teller Knight, we're gonna go into the next thing. And then I think the final one is Rescue Ace. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.